there, my beautiful water signs. Thank you for joining us for today's reading. I'm Krista, and this is Spirit Says So. Uh, today's timeless message is, Who has you on their mind and why? We are going to be using the Tarot Familiars uh, by Lisa Parker, and we're also going to be using some of my favorite oracle decks. I was divinely guided to choose this amethyst, this raw amethyst stone. Um, now this is good for all seven chakras and it's great for protection. Amethyst is all, also good for physical and mental balance. Um, I don't know if I'm doing that justice. I apologize if I am not. And we'll set that down here. So let's go ahead and get your oracle cards. So we are gonna ask Spirit to kindly guide us with messages for our highest good. Who is thinking about my current querent and why? Who has my beautiful current querent on their brain and why. I'm looking for two cards. There's one. Okay. The cave. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that I need to focus and show you the cave. And I am okay. I'm feeling this one. All right. The mentor. Hmm, that kind of gives it away, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, reading done. Just kidding. All right, so we are also going to be bringing in the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. And I ask Spirit to please provide guiding messages for my current querent's highest good on who is thinking about current querent. It's too many. Who has my current querent on the brain and why? What thoughts are going on for my current querent? Looking for two message cards. I feel this one. Complacency. And destiny. Now we're going to take one from the Alice the Wonderland Oracle. Spirit, would you please provide us with a guided message for current querents, highest good. Who has them on their mind and why? Becoming braver. Resilience, experience, growing stronger, and fresh perspective. Becoming brain braver. Okay. She's so cute. All right. And we are now going to be doing the tarot cards. Spirit, I kindly ask for continued guided messages for my current querent in my water signs reading. Who has my current querent on their mind and why? Please provide guided messages on who has current querent on their mind and why. We have the Eight of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles came out. The King of Cups.
the Knight of Cups. Wow, we are in the water signs, aren't we? You've got the Three of Wands going on. Okay, the Death card. So my immediate feeling on this is that a transition is going to be taking place here. So don't freak out over the death card. I mean, come on. Look how beautiful that kitty cat is. Don't fear the death card. It's all good. And the knave of swords. So that is like the page of swords. All right. Seeking information. And wheel of fortune. Okay. So let me see here. So, my dear Querent, in this reading. Let's talk about you for a moment. I feel that you have a deep compassion or a deep love for something or someone. Um, I feel that you have not With complacency, while you dream about doing things and, and you have creative ideas um, and you're very intelligent, complacency is that you're not doing anything about the things that you want to do. You're not doing anything about your dreams. You're just thinking about it. You're, you're wasting your life away. Just just thinking about what's going on. That is the energy that I'm getting from you, my beautiful querent. Uh, maybe you have emotions tied to this complacency. Maybe something's happened in your history that makes you that way, that makes you a little afraid to move on with your spirits. Um, so, I'm feeling that, uh, wow, and look at the owls. That's just insane. This person that has you on their mind is definitely someone with knowledge and experience. There's no denying that with, with these cards being where they are and the fact that you've got two court cards out of this um, with emotions and the knowledge being on there. Um... This individual that has you on their mind, they, again, are very intelligent. Um, I feel, I feel that they're trustworthy, that you do trust them. I also feel that you know that you are on this person's mind. Um... With the Destiny card, I feel like they have ideas for you that they can see more for you than what you're allowing yourself. You know, I, I believe that maybe you have voiced your dreams to this person. And and they see that you, you can make your dreams come true, but you're not really doing anything about it. Um, now with the two of pentacles, you're balancing something and I feel like you have, you may feel like you need to walk away from a situation and maybe even a situation with the person that has you on their mind. 
and maybe this is someone that is a mentor to you and you have deep love and desires for them but for some reason it's not something that you think is a good idea and you're not ready to move forward um, so that is what I'm getting from this. This person cares about you deeply and they're very smart. They're, they're wise and they are definitely wanting you to live out your dreams. And I feel that you have a lot of compassion and love for this person as well. And that you're thinking of walking away. So I just kind of summarized what I want to think. And, and you're trying to balance your your emotions with this person. And they feel that. And I don't think that they want you to. I think that they want you to move forward with your, with your feelings and your emotions toward them. I think they want you to gravitate. Continue manifesting whatever feelings if it's love or admiration they want you to continue gravitating towards them um now spirit's message to you is become braver be resilient and experience your dreams don't be complacent grow stronger and maybe maybe you do need a fresh perspective maybe you were heartbroken in the past or maybe there was a situation that is what's holding you back from continuing to live your dreams out but spirit wants you to become braver now spirit's messages are also down here for you and with the three of wands and death the transition card, it is not a death card, the transition card, spirit is wanting you to transform yourself into a bit of a stronger person and look forward to what you can accomplish. And as a matter of fact, the three of wands is more of looking forward to what you have accomplished. And spirit is saying that you can do that um, but the three of many things is usually a very creative, the three itself is a creative numeric. Um, with the page of swords and the wheel of fortune and the become braver, Spirit is telling you to open up your mind, find out some information. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Maybe you need to find out a little bit more about this person that is a mentor. You know, maybe they've been a mentor so long to you that you really haven't dived into the per their personal aspects or how they really are outside of the window that you've known them through, that you've seen them through. So... You know, do your homework and reach out for information, even if it's asking that person, having a conversation, telling them, you know, that you really want to take a step forward and find out more about them in order to pursue anything with them. And the Wheel of Fortune spirit is telling you that, Spirit is on your side, luck is on your side, and as long as you do your homework and you allow yourself this transformation, things are going to work out just splendid for you. So, I'm very happy with this reading. I feel really good about your future, and with you being a water sign and... With all of these cups here and as far as timing goes you you know all these cups up here so I'm thinking that within the next probably the next month within the next month 
either this wonderful energy that I'm feeling from this person is going to reach out to you or maybe you can take a deep breath and reach out to them because remember what spirit said you know become braver so with that said I really hope that this resonated with you and if anything I hope that you found it entertaining um, I certainly enjoyed doing this reading for you and I ask that you kindly like this video subscribe to it and tap that notification button so that way when spirit has a message for you you'll know it um i wish you all the best and i hope to see you soon again thank you bye